Hi everyone. This is Badrappa from HRB Embedded. This video will deal with IoT based smart agriculture with automatic irrigation system. Here we used a capacitive moisture sensor to measure moisture content in the soil. We also used DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor to measure the temperature and humidity in the air. A 5 volt relay is used to control the water pump. This system detects the low quantity of water in the soil. The motor automatically turns on. Hence the irrigation is done automatically. Once the soil is wet and detected by a soil moisture sensor, the motor is automatically turns off. All this happening can be monitored remotely through Things Peak server online from any part of the world. This project is required a custom PCB, so we made a PCB from heat transfer method. A video is already available in my channel how to make PCB by a pad to pad software easily. The link was given in the description. Let us see the components required for this project. A node MCU is an art of the project. A capacitive soil moisture sensor. OLED display of 0.96 inch. A DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. 5 volt relay module. And 6 volt submersible pump. So now here is the schematic of this project which is durably designed. The A0 of the node MC is used to Collect the data of moisture sensor and D5 pin is used to control the relay for irrigation purpose. Here you can see node MCU, OLED display, DHT11, relay module, moisture sensor and a water pump. This water pump is need to be submerged in water and the outlet pipe is brought to a soil for irrigation. Similarly, the soil moisture sensor is dipped in soil. As soon as the system is turned on, the OLED starts displaying the moisture level, air humidity and also air temperature. It shows the real time data. As you can see, the moisture sensor senses the water content in soil is less. The pump turns on the water starts flow and similarly when the water content is detected by the moisture sensor pump automatically turned off Now what we will need is the data is to be monitored on internet from any part of the world. So create the account in thingspeak.com server. As I already have an account, simply I signed it. After the create a new channel, fill the four different fields for moisture, temperature, humidity and motor status and save the channel. Then go to API key and the copy right API key 
This key is required in code and need to be pasted here. This code is very simple and easy to understand. This code need to be modified like SSID and password. Here we uploading the data to server ThingSpeak. This is used to display the temperature and humidity. Similarly, we are measure the soil moisture using these values and converting into percentage. Here we used this code to display the value in OLED. We defined a 50% value as a threshold. This can be changed by yourself as you require. These lines are used to turn on the motor pump. Here we use the post string function we are uploading the data to a things pick server. You can see the four fields and parameter here. Once the code is uploaded, it is done. Go to private view. You can see the data in a graphical manner for every 15 seconds. The data is uploaded into the server. Here you can see the fields, moisture, temperature, humidity and status of the motor.